Hello, I'm Pete Pizzuto, Business Development Representative here at NCS, and today I'm going to talk to you about selecting the correct UCC filing. So what type of filing should you choose? Is it a PMSI in inventory, a PMSI in equipment, or is it a blanket UCC? How do you figure out which one is the best to protect yourself? Well, the best way to answer your question is with some questions. What are you selling? What is your customer doing with the goods? And what do you want to secure? So depending on the type of transaction that's taking place, you're, you, what you're trying to secure will help to determine the type of UCC you're going to do. So let me throw an example your way. Let's say I'm a manufacturer and I'm selling my product to someone that's going to be stocking it like a stocking distributor. And they're going to be holding my inventory for 60 or 90 days. And I would like to take a secured interest or a priority interest in my inventory, maybe the proceeds and accounts receivable as well. In this example, what would be the appropriate filing for me to do? So in this example, you would use the purchase money security interest in inventory, or also known as a PMSI in inventory. So you're looking to secure your inventory, take a priority security in the inventory, so you'll be able to repossess it if possible. In the case of default or bankruptcy, also secure the accounts and accounts receivable. So here's a curveball. Let's say I'm the manufacturer of a piece of equipment that my customer is going to use in their course of business. In this example, what would be the appropriate filing? So you would want to use a PMSI equipment filing because your customer is using that piece of equipment in the course of their business, so you want to secure that piece of equipment. They're not restocking or reselling anything. And now finally, the third type of UCC filing, the blanket filing, you would use that when you're looking to not repossess anything and we're just concerned about taking a secured interest in the accounts, accounts receivable, and the general intangibles. So it's kind of like laying a blanket over general items and nothing specific. So what should you take away from this video? Well, to review, you would go ahead and use a PMSI in inventory filing when you want to take a secured interest in your inventory, accounts and accounts receivable, just in case of default or bankruptcy. You would use a PMSI in equipment filing when you take a priority interest in your equipment that your customers are using in the course of their business. And finally, you would use a blanket UCC filing when you're trying to take a secured interest in the personal property of your debtor or the intangibles. So in closing, NCS offers many great solutions to help you secure your receivables through the UCC filing process. If you have any questions, please contact us via the information on your screen. Thanks everyone for watching our video and have a great day.